Hi, my name is Chris Coombs, and this is the truth in diabetes. So behind me, you see the state capitol building of the great state of Utah. Well, guess what? Normally, again, I like to be a happy chipper guy when I do these videos, but again, it's time for another rant. Another angry, pissed off video, and I'm gonna talk again, and just remind anyone out there that's been following this project, or may follow this project in the future, what the truth in diabetes is all about. Well, if you spend a little bit of time online today, a story came out in the Associated Press. Locally, it was posted on ksl.com. Okay, this article, this comes from London. An estimated 366 million people worldwide now suffer from diabetes and the global academic epidemic is getting worse, health officials said Tuesday. The International Diabetes Federation described the number of cases as staggering, with one person with diabetes dying every seven seconds. So in the time that I've done this video, we've had maybe four or five people die just because of diabetes. Wake up. It is time. It is time to start a revolution. Okay, going to your doctor, taking your medication, following a diabetes meal plan, and exercising ain't cutting it anymore. Okay, so whose job is it to fix this? Is it the government's job? No, it's our job. It's our job as people living with diabetes to educate ourselves and empower ourselves and then educate the other people out there that are impacted by this illness and those who might be at risk of taking on diabetes. Guess what? Everybody out there is at risk. Nobody's safe anymore. It's an epidemic. Remember the bubonic plague, flu pandemics? That's what we are facing. Pretty quick, diabetes is probably gonna be the number one killer of people in our country and in the world. So what's the truth in diabetes about? It's a movement, my friends. It's a community. Some of the things I say might not make me real popular. Some of the things I say you might think I am nuts. But what we're doing ain't working. It's time to take action. And again, don't sit back and wait for somebody to solve the problem. There's that saying, if it is to be, it's up to me. That is why I started The Truth in Diabetes. It's to make a stand against this disease. It's to make a stand against a problem that just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So again, now is the time. Take action, educate yourself, empower yourself, and then spread that message. Get it out there. Share this information with the world. Because I got something I got to get off my chest. I don't hold a lot of hope that the medical community is going to find a cure for diabetes. Because why would they? Think about that. We are far too profitable. Far too profitable. An example of that. Do you know that they can chest blood sugar with infrared light? Oh yeah. Technology's been there for years. But you know what? Nobody will develop that. Pharmaceutical companies sometimes get this type of technology and they shelve it. Why? because you can only sell that device once. See, let's put that in a watch. Who with diabetes wouldn't wear a watch and know what their blood sugar is a thousand times a day? Who wouldn't like that? To have something on your, your arm that goes off every, you know, every time there's a low or there's a high, beep, beep. Okay, it's because they, we, they can't sell as test strips that way. You don't need a new strip every time you check your blood sugar. Think about it, guys. If it is to be, it's up to me. It is up to us as a community. Take a stand. Remember, disease, destiny, it's your choice.